Hey there, uh, before we actually start this video, um, the video is actually with three outputs, but it's possible to do it with five outputs. Uh, just check out the other video at the end of the video that I post, and you can see that. Hey guys, Rush here with another video. Today I have a combination lock with you, um, an advanced combination lock, but I wouldn't really consider it that advanced, because if you know a decent amount of, on how to use redstone, then you should... I uh, know how to make this. It's fairly simple. But let's get on to this. Um, here is our three buttons, and each of these have three outputs. Okay? And these are connected up to T flip flops. And like I said, it has three outputs. So the code is one, two. I don't know if that went through, but we'll push that again anyway. One, and then one. Two. Now you have to get this exactly right or else it will not work. Let's see if it worked. And it looks like I did get it right. But let's just say if we push this a third time, because like I said, it has three outputs, it, the door will close, and we have a nice reset button right here. And this light will flash when it has been reset. So if we reset this, this light will flash to alert us when it has been reset. So like code 1, 2, press this once. One, oops, one, two, and then the door should open like this. And then there's another reset button out here that will close the door when I step off of it. Okay, and then there's another manual reset button right here that I just decided to put in. Now, this is all the wiring, and this is actually my first major redstone um, uh, contraption but it's it's not too bad it looks complicated but it's actually not like I said it has three outputs okay and what's nice about the reset button is that it will reset itself regardless on which position the um, block is in so this is how it works this is the T flip flop right here this is uh, actually Seth Bling's T flip flop but I tweaked it up again a little bit so you have these three e outputs so this is the first output right here Second output is over this redstone torch. Third output is right here. Okay. Now I have it hooked. The output is set to this right here above the redstone torch. And the redstone torch is only for this button right here. So this gets everything started. Okay. So basically what's happening is I have to press it twice. So um, remember where that stone was? If I press, press this once here, it flips over to this side right here because this piston contracts it out and then the other piston will come and grab it. Now if I press this another time, uh, like so, it will hover above um, this redstone torch which will then activate this uh, current of redstone. Now we need to get push this redstone or this piston outward so it can activate this, activate this current right here. God, I can't talk today. So, this is, we push this once, and then it should activate, like so. And because this block is over here, and now we need to do the code for right here, which will then complete the circuit and allow us to access this door. So, if I press this twice, this will get activated, which will then come all the way back here and we'll open up the door and let's just say someone comes up here and just wants to mess with all of these because they they just want to and they're stupid uh, doors closed like I said this will reset everything regardless on where the um, where the block is so basically how that works is I just have both of these going outwards and depending on which position I want to I want it to be in, I add a delay to the pistons. And then um, once I have that all set up, when I just push the button, it will reset itself to each block. So um, it was a little bit hard to get it to do that, but it's worth it. So this is the T flip flop. Right